What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know what it is. It's your boy Kevin Man Arts. Today we're gonna check out when men refuse to help modern women. You guys know how best, especially in the gym, they'd be like things going around like women filming guys or saying guys are being perverted in the gym when they're wearing these little skinny ass, like little tiny little things covering their, their, their cheeks, you know, and they want obviously people gonna look. You're going like, what the hell are you wearing that at the gym for? So anyways, man, we're about to check this video out. But before you get into the video, guys, give the video a big thumbs up right now. Subscribe, you guys are new, and uh, yeah, let's get into this. I literally have no idea what these men are doing wrong in this video. Did right? they try to talk to you, bother you, harass you? Did one of them try to maybe I like this guy, Joe? A video of you? Or are you attacking men for simply yeah, she definitely. existing in the gym? Because all I see in this video is a bunch of men and women working their butts off in the gym, yep. minding their own business. Facts. Yet you want to make a video to attack their behavior and call them clowns? The only clown-like behavior in this video that doesn't belong in the gym is you. Yep. You need to do better. Yep. Mind your own business. Exactly. Facts. Why would a man be there? Why would a man be there? No, it's actually pissing me off. Oh my god, it pisses me off. Why would a man be there? Why do you want to be there? Like, hello, gents. Welcome to this episode. We're I think working you guys out. Notice this. What do you mean? Trend where women in the gym shame men for merely glancing at them. These yep. chicks don't even go to the gym regularly. They just go for attention and filming men for social media clicks, yep. views, likes. I hate comments. it. Dudes get labeled as a creep or Look a there. stalker or even a weirdo. He's shaking his head because he's probably like, why the hell are you wearing that to the gym? It's about like, if that was my kid, I would not be wearing something like let her out like that. Or my wife, uh-uh, mm -mm. Their direction for a millisecond. The most ironic part is they're crying about a man glancing their way at the gym while they're literally putting their video on social media for thousands of people. Right? Some have OF pages and for just $5 a month. $5 a month. Every That's how much she's worth. Body. Uh, because of this toxicity, some men have totally stopped going to the gym and they have opted for a home gym. Research says sales of gym equipments have soared mostly from home fitness sales. Also, the majority of men at these commercial gyms have stopped helping women in yeah. the gyms. Let's have a look at That's a fact. Like, why... Like, you're going to go up to her and try to help off the I'm like, no, 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 no. And then they're going to make be recording. Oh, this guy creep came up to me and said, oh, I offered me help just trying to check me out. So obviously no, no man's going to want to help you. And that's 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 the thing about it. It's it's so bad because sometimes there's girls who legitimately need help, but men will not go help them because they're afraid they're going to end up on some social media. Bro, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys feel like that, you guys that go to the gym. No, I go to the gym every morning. At least I try to try and get those gains, you know, but you know, those, those little gains. But you know, not it's coming it's coming but i go to gym every day get some few videos all right you guys let's see today we are gonna be looking let's see your struggle this girl who's training for the darwin award today she got stuck under the bar and last time she got stuck in the washing machine until her stepbrother helped her out oh my god the safety bars are set low not as low as her iq level but higher than right the standards for men idiot the poor girl looks as helpless as a turtle on his back <laughs> but the <laughs> the turtle will never be stupid enough to have his mouth covered while fighting for his life. Why don't you just push one side up? The barbell is trying to get her pregnant against her will. The camera and the tripod need to be. I feel like she's just doing this on purpose. Helping and just looking in her direction. What doesn't kill? Because why can't she just push one side up? But in her case, it looks like natural selection took over. Okay, push one side up. She just don't need my help. Why I gotta be mean for? Yeah, she has a tripod. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> set, back up. You see a tripod no, filming? Don't help her. Just go help her. I'm busy. You don't see me doing a set? How about you go help Why, her? just because she has a tripod, you're not gonna help her? No, I'm doing a set. You're not she has a tripod, help. exactly. She's recording. You really ask for someone stronger. You're strong. stronger Can you do more weight Me? Because I Wait, couldn't why help you? her. I tried to help her and so I couldn't. So there's a lot of niggas stronger than you. No, no, no but... offense, but... <laughs> no, yeah. Someone else help her, exactly. That's the, that's the mindset people are having now. Someone else will do it. She legit almost killed herself right there. I am glad nobody immediately responded to her. It's the environment that is now created and men self-preservation is in high demand. A lot yep. of women do not care about lives. They destroy with their BS. It's no yep. longer worth it to do something good only to have it manifest itself into something bad. Facts. Don't help this kind of woke women at the gym. Trust me, it's not worth your life, dignity, and face. 
just leave them alone and give them what they asked for. Yeah. Also, there was this incident that happened a few years ago where a man saved a woman from drowning and uh, she went ahead and filed SA charges. What? No. What? For saving her life. Bruh, for saving her life, she charged them. I don't know. That's just, that to me is just some crazy shit, bro. For real. Like me, if I see someone drown, like I, I, I'm training CPR, okay? If I see someone drown, my first thing is go try to save the person. I see someone having a heart attack, go try to, that's the natural thing for most people, go try to save people. But if this kind of thing's happening now, we're all going to be, men especially, going to be scared to do anything. They're just going to stand by and watch. And then when you die or something, the family's going to be like, why didn't you do anything? Uh, because have you not well, on the internet? Have you not seen what's going on? I'm not trying to get charged if I save your daughter's life. And what if she dies while I'm trying to save your daughter's life? Then the family's going to try to sue you as if you didn't do something. It was your fault that she died. That shit is scary, man. Like, for real. The article says a 23-year-old woman said she would not be dropping charges she pressed against a man who saved her life after she almost drowned wow. in a pool during a pool party in her neighborhood. Kim Wright said David took advantage of her when she was helpless and she wants justice. Wow. A uh, video that shows David, a 29-year-old web developer, uh, pulling Kim out of the water, pressing her chest a few times and giving her mouth to mouth before she coughs back into life will be used as evidence against David in court. Kim is arguing that David should have let someone else rescue her. Holy he shit! He was playing with her breasts, and the reason she woke up—no, probably because of the foul smell of David's mouth. To be honest, when I first uh, wear this, your I chest, it was kind of a joke. Um, but this really happened. If David was a good-looking six feet six figure Chad, this would have ended differently. Yeah, I, I honestly think the social contract that once existed between men and women no longer exists. The days where a man should give up his seat on a lifeboat or take any risk to his safety, peace, or freedom to aid a random woman are long in the past. There is no reason to help our modern day strong nope. independent. Don't need no man and women. Just like they don't need no man or women. Affection. It's time to put a fee on any assistance they may require. Thank you guys for coming. Jeez. Kindly. That is some crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now. All this, like, women who think they're independent, no, no man, I'm stronger. Like, all this is just crazy to me, honestly. Because these women, like, they, they, when they need help and a man tries to help them, they take it the wrong way. Like, holy shit. I, I can't believe something like that happened. And he, like he said, if Dave was a good-looking guy, okay, maybe maybe she would have liked it. But because Dave wasn't a good-looking guy, he's like, okay, I'm going to charge David because even though you saved my life, you're, you're ugly. You should have let somebody else try to save my life. The way the world's going, I feel sad. And, like, more and more, this is why I see, like, passport bros are, like, a legit thing, okay? Going to other countries, looking for a decent wife out there, legit. Like, North America, man, Canada, all these girls, the mentality of these females over here, the independent, don't need nobody, is, is sickening, to be honest. It's sickening, sickening, sickening. They think they, they, they can do whatever they want. A man should still pay for all, all their other stuff. A man should take them out. But when it comes down to it, they don't want to be good wives. They want to go out party. They want to be act stupid. And the thing about it, they do all this when they're young. And, uh, yeah, all this shit when they're young and when they're older, like 40s, nobody wants them anymore. And they use and ran through. That's when they try to look for the good guys. No, thank you. The good guys are that are left, at least, at your age. They're going to be looking for the newer models, okay? That's what I always keep saying. They look for the newer models because I know my ass is going to be looking for the newer model. I don't want I don't want no one that, that's being used, being ran through, who slept a whole bunch of guys. I'm looking for that newer model, okay? And this is the thing about their thing. They, 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 these women, they turn around when they get older. They, like, start saying, oh, men that go after younger women are pedophiles or disgusted. Or men that go after younger women are just looking to corrupt them. Um, no, they're just looking for someone who isn't ran through like you. So they don't want you. That's why you feel hurt now. So you're going to judge them what their preference, okay? That's their preference. If that younger woman wants to go for older men, so be it, okay? Once they're of age, just say of age, so be it, all right? So maybe stop thinking about going get a ran through or stop being a stupid, you know, the bee. And find your good guy when you're young. And don't be partying. Don't be sleeping around. Find your good guy, all right? Because trust me, when you get older, ain't nobody want you, okay? Just saying. I'm out. Bye.